My last album, I recorded in my closet. It was LA, like the LA was home. Man, it costs a lot, yeah, it does. It's a lie. All our struggle, we're just one, we're one. It's nice to see America catch up now. So he was like, hey, can I throw it on my album too? One thing I love about both of y'all is, y'all did it independent. Hey G, tell me something. What was the record that made you pop? Like, what was the record that you was like, okay, I'm no longer this dreamer in my house making beats. Mm. I'm becoming that guy. What was, the, what was the song for you that made you like, I, I think this is gonna... It's, it's crazy, cause um, it's a cover. <laughs> You're lying. I know. It's a cover of what? One Direction Story of My Life, Shade. So, you know, like I was making music, like I was working, doing my nine to five, and then I was making music alongside. It wasn't working like I wow. wanted. So I was in the habit of always releasing covers. May, may, to... you, may you tell me what that nine to five was? Oh, so um, I was um, an editor, like in um, some e-commerce companies, like, yeah. So I was- Trust the Nigerian to find some yeah, money. I was always, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and then the last year that I, like, that I did quit was, um, I was a brand manager. So I was in charge of campaigns, yep. marketing and all. And it was good, it was good pay, but it was just not fulfilling for me because I wanted to just do this music. So going to work and then making music after on weekends wasn't like, it didn't suffice at all. So I just, I quit and then I decided, you know what, I'd written some songs, but I had this one cover that I wrote back in May. You know, I said, let me just put the song out, see how we we'll feel about it. Right. So no intention whatsoever, it was just a regular cover, you know, mm -hmm. like, People do covers on YouTube and that was it for me. Right. So I released the song and in two weeks, like things started to change. People started to call me and the song was everywhere in Nigeria. I'm like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. This is just a fucking cover, you know, like yeah. just I didn't think much of the song. Yeah. Then I got signed based off of the cover. Wow. Well I mean they reached out to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shout out to Alamide. 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 This guy, Explain who Alamide is, because I want people to know that oh, yeah. Alamide wasn't just some regular dude. He is legendary. Like, yeah. he's been killing it for over 10 years. Yes, sir. He's a rapper, songwriter, singer. He's dope. Yeah. Mm. Like, he, he runs this shit. You yeah. know? Like, so <clears throat> when, he, when, he, when he wanted to sign me, you know how people would say, oh, let me even listen to your other song? Yeah. He didn't even listen to all the songs that I had. Yes, sir. Like, he's just invest invested blindly, basically. Right. And then, thankfully, I was, always, I was already working, because I'm always writing. Oh, yeah. So I'd written songs before Shade, the cover. I had Oriente before Shade. Yes, sir. I had Friends on Beautiful Night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was I had all the songs, but I just didn't want to waste my songs. So that's why I released the cover first. Yes. So, yeah, and then when, when that song popped off and then I got signed and we shot video, I'm like, you know what, yeah, I think this is happening, Right. you know. I never left the country before. Right. I was always like in Nigeria. Right. And, and what part of Nigeria? Lagos. Okay. And then the first time, I remember I disturbed my, my, my dad about going to, to the UK. You know, bro, I got too many brochures from, from Manchester, <laughs> you, know, you know, from Manchester, like Manchester, and then um, some schools in Coventry. You know? Right, right, right. I wanted to do animation. I wanted to do my master's in animation. Right. So I remember always disturbing my dad to, you know, like pay for. My master's, and he always looked at me like, you're joking, right? <laughs> like, right, right. Like, you're joking. You have your sisters. I need to pay for them. Right. So then he said one thing to me. He said, he said, um, by the time you start to travel out of the country, it will never be with your money. I'm like, what's this man talking about? Right. Prophesying on your life. Bro, I didn't even know what that meant until it happened. I went to London with one song. I had only Oriente then. Okay, so I had, so I had only Shadi. Then yeah. I released Oriente. Well, Oriente, yeah. Then we had a show in the UK. And about 3,000 people sang my words back, back to me. That's when I'm like, you know what? Yeah, this, I was already like blowing up in Nigeria, yeah, 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 but yeah. I was nervous about going to the, the UK. UK. Yeah. But then when they mentioned my name yeah, on yeah, stage, yeah, 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 and yeah. I saw how people were screaming, I'm like, that's when yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's I'm, it's I'm funny. The funny, I love, look, <laughs> they don't give London enough credit. Oh, and, no. and shout out to the, I agree. To the hometown. <laughs> London is the hub for. Our culture, to be honest with you, I know mm -hmm. America is the place that we all want to be in because you guys shine the light. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You guys make the dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But foundation, yeah, it's the UK, man, like if you want to know what's going on, it clicked a career around the world. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's the UK, and 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 you can start some great things in yeah, the UK. UK. Eric had started some great stuff in the UK. Yeah. In fact, that's where you was going. Yeah. And we had to tell you to come back. To come yeah. back. And nah, then imagine you it. going to the UK. The UK is so special to me. That's from, when I had my from, first headline show. Yeah. Like, sold my biggest venues in the UK. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's now it's become a hub for Afrobeat music, yeah, right? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like the place you go to promote Afrobeat music. Mm-hmm. And I think it's amazing. Um, it's funny talking about Nigeria because growing up as Nigerians, we used to be afraid to tell people it was Nigeria because we used to get clowned. Like, I don't yeah, know whether it was it, it, around the world. Like, if you told yeah. people you was Nigerian, they would call you African bat booty scratcher, <laughs> African bat <batty. laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, and we used to be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. And, and now fast forward 25, 30 years later, everybody's Nigerian. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I did my uh, uh, DNA. I did my uh, uh, ancestry. And, and I'm, I'm 95% Niger. I'm 19% Niger. I'm 12% Niger. I might be a bad man. I might be a Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Now, now Nigerians and the African culture itself in general. Yeah. Is, is is stepping into fashion and stepping into uh, 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 the music. Um, e, hold on, you got it, but how we good? <laughs> e, is there any chance of you doing switching from R and B and stepping into that Afro B mm-hmm. space? Man, I think I don't think it, <clears throat> it would have to be a switch. I think it could be just experimenting and, and trying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan of, of that sound, and you know. I've been, since 2010, I've been over there with y'all. That's right, you have. Like, all right, give me all the lingo. What's all the words? Yes, I, used to, I used to ask, like, what, you know, what are y'all? Before Drake was doing it, you yeah. was doing it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, oh my. give me all the words. <laughs> I need all the lingo. You had to. OK, OK, OK. Is it, yeah, as you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think it's a sound that I, I, I've always been a fan of. And I think um, because I have so much respect for music, I'm not somebody that just does it just to do it. Mm. I gotta do it the right way. So it's like, yeah, you know, people could say, yeah, yo, this is the sound that's popping right now. But if I'm not educated enough and haven't done enough research to do it properly, if I'm not with the right producers, if my timing, if my cadence ain't right, I'm not even gonna do it at all. But, <laughs> you know, if it's done the right way, that's why I was asking, like, yo, are you still, you know, yeah, because yeah. it's like, yo, I don't <laughs> want it to look like I'm just. Jumping on the back Nah, you, you know never try. You too talented for that. Like, I don't, nah, it's ain't me. You Nigerian. Nah, you better go do your answer. Nah, I'll bet you anyone you will come back and be like, H. I don't ever look like I'm trying. H, you gonna, you gonna call me one day when you do your ancestry and be like, H, I'm Nigerian. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, get me. And I'm like, still, I, I, still, I said, still, I said still, bro, still. get on the plane right now. AG, how do you feel, you know, Essence crossing over into mainstream? One of, you know, I've been doing it for a while. A lot of people don't know that, you know, T was first two biggest hits were with me. Yeah. You know, that helped shift her cult, her, her shift her life and helped shift culture mm-hmm. in just Afrobeats working mm-hmm. in the first place, you know, globally. Um, and you know, she was a songwriter in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. She was working with me. We was working on Fantasia's album. Like, T mm-hmm. was around us in Bro. 2010. From, from back Niger- from back then. But from Nigeria? She's no, from- she was, bro, she was so, she's Nigerian. Mm-hmm. She yeah. moved to London, mm-hmm. but she ended up in LA trying like all of us. Yeah, I remember that. You know, writing, know writing songs and she was writing for Beyonce and writing, she was writing Papa Noak, she was writing with everybody. Mm-hmm. And I remember she just woke up one day and said, yo, big bro, give me, give me a couple beats. I'm going back home to Nigeria to start a career. In 2010, I'm looking at like, Career win. She's in Nigeria. Bro, they ain't got lights in Nigeria. Yeah. You want to start a career in Nigeria? You bugging. She was like, I've got to try. They're not taking me seriously out here. Yeah. And that for me, I was like, I bet I'm going to support just because two years later, she's on a Pepsi can, bro. Mm. Like, bro, <clears throat> what? And I'm hearing yeah. my songs yeah. with her all over the, uh, outside yeah. of America, all yeah. over the world. And then five years later, she's like a global star. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, me working with Destiny's Child, I, like, I'd be sneaking them in. So when I remember doing like a gospel Afrobeat song called Say Yes. Mm-hmm. Like when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. I remember doing that. Like I'd be trying to do like slide shifts, yeah. you know what I mean? And 
now to see like pop culture actually accepting That's the sound, it. yeah. And being like DJ Snake doing it, you know what I'm saying? And all the pop DJs and pop radio mm -hmm. stations and now Bieber's singing on, you don't need no other. I'm like, so I'm like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. AG, do you feel like now the floor is open for the likes of you, Wiz, Burner, and other Afrobeat stars Definitely. to really be superstars <clears throat> over here? Definitely, you know, um, one of the things that I'm happy about is, um, I tell people, like, it's nice to see America catch up now. Because right. we've been the shit, like, from since Fela, since King yeah. Sonia did, you yeah. know this yeah, yeah, yeah. And then since the Banj, Whiskey now, um, Burner Boy, me, all of us, you know. Yeah. It feels good to know that, um, yeah, like that, this, our sound is really like, yeah. it's here now, it's you know? It yeah. feels yeah. good, so <clears throat> I'm happy for what this means for like up and coming artists and then for also emerging, emerging artists as well. Right, right. So yeah, um, it's such a right time, yeah. you yeah. know, to, for this, for this, um, for this collaboration to be yeah. happening right now, so yeah. it feels good. Yeah, and and and, and I and I and I'm, I'm hoping after this podcast, I get to hear an E E B A G. Listen, I collaboration. I sleep nah. in his DM. Hey, look, I'm about to check the DM. <laughs> okay, I don't nah. believe you. Listen, <laughs> nah, you I need, need check the DM, bro. I need an Eric Bellinger. I'm all the way with it. I sleep in his DM, I'm like, yeah, all bro. Way. I want to work, man. It's it's Let's very go. important because you you have to understand, bro. like. It's love, it's you know what I'm saying? That's what we do over at the bridge. We connect people, we bridge yeah. the gap. Love it. But I just want people to understand, like, the reason why these guys are significant to me is I've watched both of them independently. Yeah. <clears throat> and still independent, do you know what yeah. I mean? Regardless of everything. And you guys have had incredible team members and people who have stuck with you through it all. Yeah. But you didn't have the money machine, and you didn't have Bro, the excuses, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't have the, yeah. you know, the the check writer. Nah. You guys made it work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I know you do a lot of your editing, and you do everything, a lot of your Bro. photos, and do everything. Everything. And I watched you. I remember he was like, "Yeah, like I've never seen a guy be so multi uh, <laughs> talented. Like he's on the phone cutting a song by himself." Telling the graphics guy how to do this and make yeah. his cover look like it's incredible to watch you guys become Thanks. the beasts and monsters that you are mm -hmm. in this space. Yeah. And 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 I just want to know what what's the future looking like yeah. for y'all right now? Future. Mm -hmm. With the yeah. with the way culture shifting, yeah. what is the future looking like for y'all? I honestly look at it like it's it's the cheat code now, you know, <laughs> because to not be signed. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, you have the advantage, you know, because it's, it's a lot easier for syncs, it's a lot easier to clear songs, and it's a lot easier to, to sign off on certain things. And I've, I've found myself getting more calls and um, more opportunities just because it's a lot easier to work with me, you know what I mean? So then you wake up the talent, and then you wake up the work ethic, and, that, and, and now you talk about the technology and the different possibilities from different types of shows, and whether it's podcasts, whether it's performances, whether it's clothing lines, whether it's, it's just so many places to um, have And you're being mentioned in the same places as the people we wanted to work with. Yeah. How's that feel? I feel for, good. for both yeah, of y'all, like, like you're being mentioned. Now yeah. I'm hearing records with you and Usher. Yeah. Remember we used to talk about just wanting to work with Usher? Yeah. You and Chris Brown. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Chris is the homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and so many other people who have learned, grown, yeah. taken, bit. And people don't <laughs> from know. Your they don't even know what that means to do it by yourself. Right. Mm. Like, yeah, for me to be mentioned in that same conversation with those guys, and those guys be on RCA, Warner Brothers, yeah. Interscope, Jive, yeah. RCA, yeah. and Eric Bellinger was with YFS. Yeah. You don't even know the bar you just said when you mention my name with them. Woo. You don't even understand what that means that Woo. I own all my shit. Come on, bro. You don't even know. All 35. Thank you. Albums. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? No, no. <laughs> you don't even know how Man, hard it is to be mentioned. Crazy. That's work. That's dedication. That's consistency over time. Yes, sir. It's like, and then to write the songs too? Yes, sir. I'll just be quiet. Like, I don't got to say nothing. God is, God is showing the glory by allowing me to still be doing it in what I do and existing in the space that I'm in. Yeah. How am I doing that? Yeah. It ain't me. It can't be me. Yeah. It can't yes, be human. Yes, sir. 
It's bigger than me as God. AG, help me out. Yeah. What you, what you, how's it feel? I mean, I can't even brag like him. <laughs> no. It has 35 albums, bro. But, no, but look, I, I, the I, only I'm difference with me and him, because he said his iTunes is ridiculous, laptop oh, yeah, yeah, records. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just put artwork to 12, 12 packs. <laughs> Bro, Tw- put bunch them mugs up, and you got thirty five <laughs> albums too. Listen, listen, I, and 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 it goes to it goes to say you've had you had you have different hustles, right? Definitely. Your hustle, America created the monster that you are. Mm-hmm. Your environment, Compton, created mm-hmm. the monster you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your starvation created yeah. the monster you are. Mm-hmm. But Ag, you are a different type of monster, right? And when you're in Nigeria and you gotta feed yourself, and you don't know whether they're gonna take the lights. You don't know where the next meal gonna come from. Yeah. Your the naira does not compare to the dollar. Yeah. You can't put out thirty five albums. <laughs> you could just about put out a song, nah. especially back then. I, don't I mean, no, I mean, for real. You gotta remember anyway, something. You, you have to remember Spotify. Know, though, but Spotify mm-hmm. just got to Africa. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like we are still a third world country, and that's why I want to expose. That even we in all our struggle, do you know what I mean? We're mm-hmm. just one, we're one. You know what I'm saying? And the more we come together, the more we can help each other reach those goals, right? Yeah. And <clears throat> yes, you are a monster, bro, and he's a monster because <clears throat> you have to use the power of patience mm. in a different way. Yeah. Like you had to hold all those, he got 50 billion songs. That's what I'm he saying. Put, he had to hold them. <laughs> Why you gotta hold because, them? Because he had to wait for the right time. Like, Bruh. explain. Dude. I mean, it's, you got, it's, but you got, crazy. yeah, like I just you said, say he had to like, get out the bush from Nigeria, get to London. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna Crack say, like, it and then get over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna say, like, every, like, every monster heat that you hear from Nigeria right now, that's crossing over here or that's doing, like, the craziest, making the craziest moves, was probably recorded under the, like the hardest condition. Yeah. Okay. Like, like it's not like, as easy. Like, it's not we, as many like, studios over had, there. If we had like the perfect system that you guys had, come on, bro. Like nobody can. Talk Thirty-five to us. albums. Nobody the, can. The talk perfect to us. what? You know. It, yeah. If we, if we had the perfect systems that yeah, we had, that you guys had like, with the music like, system, right? Yeah. Something I, I don't think people know, and this is for this is why I said we gotta put bring our people together. He could be in the studio, working right now. And there's a thing we got called called Nepa. It's yeah. like the light company here, and you're in the middle of recording, they switch it off, and you don't know when they're gonna bring it back. The mm-hmm. government. That's a different struggle, my dude. <laughs> you in the middle of a song. Never mind. I mean, I'm gonna let him like, explain because I didn't even go for nah, that. No, no, that's different. <laughs> but like, I mean, like I said, yes, please. Yeah, the this, this struggle <laughs> is different. Like, I put... <laughs> like, Sometimes, look at my, my last album, I recorded in my closet. Okay. Yeah, not, many, not many artists like understand that's, that's such struggle. I mean, many of them out here, like you have studios set up for you like till the end of the year, possibly, right. and then you have some writers with you. Every we do our shit by ourselves. Got it, got it. I'm in, I'm in my studio, like that's in my awesome. little closet, just making music with clothes like above my head. And then- <laughs> No, I know about that. You know that's me. That's how I wrote my hit song. We both think I was just, I grew up in the head. I wrote okay <laughs> under this condition. So like, yeah. uh-huh. we're, we're, we're wired differently. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It sounds, I don't know, man. Y'all making it sound like- No, I'm be, like, I, I kid you, I kid you, I, I, I kid you not. Expecting you No, no, I kid you not. Africa is, is, is changing and I, I'm, I'm proud to be an African. I'm proud to be born in London. I'm proud to be living in America and in Los Angeles, which is one of the most significant cities in entertainment and business. And to do as well as we've done, both of all three of us, you know, for me, one of the things that I remember when I first came out here, black Americans didn't even realize what we went through as African people. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Um, and I don't think they even realized how talented we were. But yeah, I don't think you also realize how much you influenced us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Simple things like the use of (laughs) Uo-Chu. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Or the way runs were were put together. You know, from Motown days all the way down, you guys were helping us survive. You know what I mean? It was really a big difference. Big difference. It was a big difference. And y'all were going through struggles too, because it wasn't like they were over here. Yeah. Chilling, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, and, but the but 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 the but the world has figured a way to make us blind to each other's struggles. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. And kept us away from being able to unify that that space. And yeah. 
I think entertainment <clears throat> has been, music has been, <clears throat> and one of the reasons why I wanted to do music has been the voice. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, Universal no language. government, no preacher, no. It's been the bridge. Has yeah. not been able to been bridge the gap, yeah. you know, yeah. with cultures, just yeah. so, like I said. Nah, for real. You that's two in a room. That's why I can go yeah, man. to London. Right. Get in the studio. Right. Never met this guy, yeah, right. but get in with Angel. That's right. And be like. It, feel, it felt like your twin brother. <laughs> You know, I hear you. Spider Man's pointing at Spider Man. You <laughs> seen that meme when it was pointing? I was like, yo, this kid is me, you know? Yeah, I know. We're brothers, you know what I'm saying? But never meeting each other, it's like, wow, we're the same. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. crazy. Mm. I, I think it's a beautiful thing. And um, I'm so excited about y'all futures. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So when's your album coming out, bro? Let them know. February 2022. I'm super excited. You know, can't wait for people to hear. Yeah. Like the work that I've been putting in is crazy. Let them know is, your socials too. This is like it's, I feel like this is my best work yet, and I'm so excited to introduce it to the world. Nice. Yeah. Um, find me everywhere. My name is Adekunle Gold. AG Baby is your baby or your daddy, whichever one you want. So you know <laughs> it's your baby. Yeah. EB. <laughs> album 36. When are we getting it? I mean, album, album 35 is right now. Then so. Tell them where, he, yeah. where the album's out. What's yes, in the, the name album of the album? Out, New Light album out right now. It's album 35. Yes, sir. But it's the one. It's the one. It's the one. Listen to that front to back. We got the transitions going crazy. Yes, sir. We really tapped in. I feel like um, this is one of my best, you know, to date. I won't say the best. People look at me like I'm crazy, but I really feel like we took a lot of time on this one and then. The next album most likely gonna be another collab project with Hitmaker. Me and him, Ooh. yeah, we did a we did one, and it was, that was it great. Did, I like that. Album. It did really well, yes, and now it's like, yo, we might need to do, do, do one do more, more part yeah. two for the people. Uh, when we first was working, we just was both working as creatives. Right. Now he has a great position at oh, Empire. Empire. Yeah. yeah, so like- Shout him, out Ghazi. Yeah, shout out Ghazi, shout out Nima. So, yeah, Nima. you know, for a hit maker to actually really be able to put his foot down, have some influence and have some say so over the project as well. I think that's gonna, you know, do big things for us uh, on one 800 hit easy part two. Let's do it. Let's go. So it, Amazing, let's man. tell them where they can find you. You can find me at Harmony Studio next week. <laughs> <laughs> we're, about to, <laughs> we're about to cook up. Hopefully, AG, your baby is in the middle. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. But yeah, man, you can find me, uh, ericbellinger.com. It's the website, all the socials, everything's my full name. E-R-I-C-B-E-L-L-I-N-G-E-R. Yes, so this is the official first episode of The Bridge. I am your host, Harmony H. Money Samuels. Please click the subscribe button. Do this. And we'll see you soon with our next guest. Can't wait to show you who we got coming on the show. The bridge is going to be here for a while because we've got to bridge the gap with the world, information, mm. my boy, Eric Bellinger. Yes, sir. The king. I Let's go. Let go, AG, baby in the <laughs> building. Yeah. And it's good night from me. Stay blessed. H-Money. H-Money. <laughs> <laughs>